G'day guys, welcome to me and my beauty. My name is Tanya and I'm your personal little guinea pig. And it's already January. It's what, January? Oof, it's January 8th, I think, when I'm recording this. Anyway, uh, I haven't done my December empties yet, so I'm definitely behind the eight ball and I want to talk to you guys about that today. And you know what? I watch a lot of empties and they always talk about extra things that aren't even beauty related stuff like books and stuff like that. And I never have a book to actually talk to you guys about because... I stopped reading, but anyway, I do have a book and I finished it, in fact, I actually finished it today, it's called Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover, and um, it's an alright book, right, it's nice, I like the story, um, but if you're into like really, really raunchy, this is not it, so this is, this is pretty tame, this is something that I'd be comfortable to give my 15 year old even, uh, <laughs> to read, yeah, it is pretty tame, maybe, maybe, maybe a 17 year old, but you know, 15 year olds know a lot these days, don't they? So anyway, this is pretty tame. You could, if this was a movie, it could be on free to wear TV, no dramas. So, but it was definitely a lovely story and I enjoyed reading it. It only took me two days. So um, you can get this at Kmart at the moment for 12 bucks if you're interested, uh, if you can get a hold of it, because TikTok is, they're nuts about this book at the moment. It's one of the top ones on um, BookTok. So yeah, if you can get a hold of it, if not, um, I'm probably going to be selling this one. Anyway, uh, if you're interested in finding out what I thought about my December empties, stay tuned. Welcome back guys. Alright, let's just start off. If I look a little strange, it's because I'm trialling out a foundation. Um, I'm not sure if it's a new foundation, but it's new for me. I think this shade might be a little bit dark, I'm not sure. Look, it looks okay in the viewfinder, but when I'm looking in the mirror, I'm like, eh. And then again, I'm also under all these bright lights. I'm not sure what it looks like in daytime yet because I'm filming this at night time. So, mm -hmm. anywho, we're going to talk about empties. These are my December 2021 empties. And I even got some things in there that aren't, I don't really call beauty related. So, you know, I think we'll start with that. This is a, um, a La Reve fragrance uh, oil diffuser. And um, this is the Japanese honeysuckle. And, um... I don't, it's very dusty, I don't normally like these, these sorts of things normally give me headaches, um, I would sort of prefer a, um, uh, a vaporizer or a candle or something like that, but this was actually quite lovely and it didn't give me a headache and um, yeah, considering repurchase, I would consider repurchasing this one, um, but yeah, and it's kind of pretty too, I don't know how much it is, it's probably expensive, I probably wouldn't pay for it to be honest with you, um, in fact, I wouldn't really want to pay, my personal opinion, because, you know, I'm a tight ass, probably wouldn't pay any more than $20, $25 for one of these. I just, I just wouldn't. I just know me. Anyway, let's move on. The next thing that I have is this Batiste Dry Shampoo Plus Beautiful Brunette. I use this all the time. I love this one. I haven't found anything else that I like that doesn't leave a white cast in my hair. So until then, I'll be using this one. So it's not like you haven't seen this one before. Although if you are new to my videos, you wouldn't have seen this before. Let's move on. So in Australia, it's summer. So I have two Dove Original Deodorants. Um, I actually have a third one I could have thrown in here, but it's in my handbag and I couldn't be bothered. So just imagine there's three of these guys. These are a staple. I absolutely love these. I sweat a lot. And these seem to be the only ones that work for me. So um, I stick with what I know. The next thing that I have is this Shea Moisture African Black Soap Soothing Body Wash with Aloe, Oats and Vitamin E. We love this. My partner loves this. I just brought another bottle. Um, I might even have, yeah, you know, he's about to finish up the second bottle of this. So there would have been two of these, but it's in the shower and I think it's got at least one or two more uses. I, on the hand, I love this stuff, but I've moved on to some Lush products that I wanted to use up. So I definitely will repurchase this again. I actually have repurchased this again. You can pick this up at Priceline for $19.95. Try and get it on special though for $12.99 because that's a bonus. So anyway, beautiful stuff. Love it. Let's move on. Next thing I have is this Jergens Soothing Oil Soothes and Hydrates Moisturizer. I absolutely love this stuff. It is a lighter formula. I like to use this on my legs. It smells great. Soaks in really quick. Don't feel like I'm leaving um, moisturizer all over the sheets because I typically like to um, moisturize after a shower just before bed. Definitely will. I think I'd like to well, repurchase this again. I think I would like to try a different scent. There's so many of them. Um, so I definitely will pick this up again, but I reckon I might try a different scent this time. Not that this one's bad. It's not. I like it. I just want something different in my life. <laughs> 
The next thing I have is this uh, Hask Keratin Protein Soothing Shampoo. I love this stuff. I haven't brought it in a while actually because I've been trying to use different shampoos because um, my hair's been a little bit, mm, it's been a bit of a dick lately actually. Um, so I think I might actually go back and pick up another bottle of this and throw it through my hair because my hair just feels so yuck. Um, there is stuff jiggling around in there but it's, it's, it's water, I assure you. Um, <laughs> anyway, I love this stuff. Once again, I got this at Priceline, but you can get this at a lot of other places. So yeah, definitely pick some up. The other one's good too. The Argan Oil one, I like that one too. I just like the smell of this one better. Anyway, I think the Argan Oil one is actually better for my hair, but I like this keratin smell one. I just... <clears throat> anyway, let's, let's move on. The next thing I have, actually, um, I'm going to admit that I'm going to be really, really wasteful, and I'm actually throwing this away. This is a... In another language, I'm not, I don't even know. Um, I'll show you. Maybe you can figure this out. Let me see if it's going to focus. It's that brand. And it's a body butter. Um, and, ew. Or it's, ew. It's actually, I'm not even going to be able to show you, but it's dripping now. It's actually separated. And it smells disgusting. Ooh. Anyway, um, my partner brought this from the reject shop just as a little extra sort of gift from the kids um, and uh, for my birthday just a little extra add-on and look some things you can get from the reject shop are, are lovely this is not one of them this was greasy disgusting stinks like like rotten pineapple and it's got this weird um, it's got this chunky glitter in it like and when I say chunky I mean like think of coconut flakes chunky it's it's the strangest thing ever and it should have never been created and it's going in the bin. I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna pass that down to anyone. It smells even worse now. It's only been a couple of months. So let's just move on from there because that's just nasty. <laughs> let's move on. Um, I have the oh so fluffy. Um, I have the Avon Imari Seduction perfume. This was my favorite for a very very long time. But Avon doesn't exist in Australia anymore and I can't get this I can't even get it sent to Australia because you can't get perfume sent anyway um I love this I'm gonna miss it and I am trying to find a new fragrance a new sort of like oh yeah, signature fragrance for me right now and um so far nothing has um nothing's matched up and I'm very disappointed <laughs> let's move on the next thing I have is a very fluffy Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask. I actually like this. Um, it was quite nice. Uh, it was lovely. Um, yeah, that's all I can say about it. I'd, I'd buy it again. I liked it. I really did. Um, this is a sample. I don't know where I got it. I probably got it out of a bolla... bolla? <laughs> I probably got it out of a bella box, to be honest with you. Let's move on. I have a bunch of samples here. I'm just going to get them all out. Ew. Because the bottom of my basket is manky. Alright, I have the... Oh, oh, what is that? I think a, a mask must have leaked in here. I have the Avene Lotion Micellar Lotion. Um, it's just a little one here. I didn't like this. Um, I don't necessarily think that there's anything wrong with it. I just don't like micellar oils, micellar lotions or anything like that. So I used this to clean my beauty sponge. And it worked. So, bonus. Um, yes. No wasting there. I also have the Urban Decay Perversion um, Mascara. This is just a little sample that I would have got in a Mecca box at some stage. Um, I Look, this is not better than my cheap mascara, so um, I don't really have much to say about it. I'm not going to pay a fortune for a mascara that's average, so... And I think this is average, so... For me, anyway. It might work fantastic on other people, but I don't like it. Next, I have two samples from a brand called Lemon Beaker. This is the Foaming Deep Cleanser and the Brightening Cream. Um, one is with lemon essential oil and the other one is with rose essential oil. These were okay. I don't think that I would repurchase them if they popped up on sale. They were just whatever for me. Um, but hey, it was nice to try something different and um, I don't have to waste money on something that I just found. <laughs> All right. The next thing I have is the Advanced Cosmetica 6 Star Series Natural Conditioner and Shampoo with Moroccan Argan Oil and Coconut Oil uh, for normal hair. I think these were lovely and I would use them again. 
Um, I don't know how much they are, but I thought that these were nice. Um, they weren't like, uh, I guess, orgasmic, where it's so memorable and I want to use this shampoo every time I get in the shower, which is kind of like what I go for. I just... Shower time is me time, and when I get in there, I just want to experience good stuff. So my body wash, I want it to be good. I want my skincare routine, like cleansing and everything. I just kind of want it all to be a pamper session, including cleaning my hair. And so this was okay, but it was I wouldn't add it to like my pamper session kind of shampoos and conditioners. So there's that. Next thing is oh, I that's right. I had um, a Innisfree Green Tea Seed Serum. Um, it's just a little thingamajiggy here. And this was lovely. I actually really liked this. Um, and I think I might actually pick some up and try it for a little bit longer because just one sample is just not enough. But I like, I like what it did. I, I liked it. So there's that. The next thing that I have is the Lancome Advanced... Uh, hmm, youth activating concentrate this was okay um it's if i recall it was a uh, pretty strong scented um not not that memorable so mm. next thing i have is a individual um patchology mood patch perk up these were okay i'm not gonna be able to see that's very bright these were okay um i love Patchology uh, eye gels, but um, this was probably my least favorite so far out of them. I think I just like the original better But eh, what are you gonna do? It was nice. It was lovely and hmm, if it was on special I'd probably still pick it up because they are lovely. I just like the other ones a little bit better. That's all And I also have the dermal therapy lip balm. Now I've only got the packet because I gave the tube to uh, my stepdaughter um, but it's nearly done and I used a lot of it. So this is the Dermal Therapy Lip Balm Enriched with Pawpaw. This is lovely. This is great. This is at the moment my favourite lip balm. Um, I love it more than, um, I love it more than anything. I can't even think of the other brands that I've actually got, but I love it more than, um, anything that I can buy at the drugstore right now and, um, yeah, I even like it more than the Mario Badesco one that I've got. I like it better than the um, Agave um, Bite Beauty um, Lip Balm or Sleeping Mask. Um, I just think it's really, really lovely and it's very affordable. And I got this from Priceline. I think I paid $6 for it. Like, it is really, really good. And it comes in quite a few flavors. I think they got a mint one, a berry one, this pawpaw one, and they also have an original. I don't know what the original tastes like. Probably nothing. But yeah, this is great. Loved it. And actually, I, I'd probably say this is my hero product for the month. Um, I mean, I love all these other products that I showed you guys. Like, well, all the ones that I told you I loved you anyway. But this, this is probably, yeah, I really, really like this. Anyway, guys, um, look, that, I think she's empty. And that is all that I have for my empties for December. May not seem like a lot, but I'm not really using a lot at the moment. Like, I'm not going out a lot. So, um, yeah, if you liked what you saw, great. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye, guys.